Hello to my fellow human beings, and welcome to the Thunk Tank podcast, or to any other animals that might be listening. You might be a dog in the back of your owner's car who's listening to this podcast. Uh, congratulations on learning English in that case. Uh, either way, Jesus, this is the intro. Um, welcome to the Thunk Tank podcast. This episode's all about Turkish language, culture. Um, we had my fiance on, who is Turkish, and uh, she came here what five years ago. So it was an interesting take on both worlds. Uh, topics covered include uh, the McDonald's McTurko sandwich. We talked about the Turkish teze, which is like this version of an old lady in a cloak in Turkey. And um, we talked about funny language things and accent things. Uh, so it was a fun time. I think she was the designated driver for us. So I had lots of beer. At one point, I remember I tried to drink my microphone. It may have happened multiple times. Um, so it, it was a silly cast. By the end, I'm pretty sure Joe Joe's attention span was eaten up. And he just started playing Turkish YouTube videos over over the audio so it ends in a bit of a haphazard way but uh, i just listened back to the episode and, and it was it was fun so i hope you enjoy it um if you want to support our podcast head over to patreon.com slash thunk tank podcast and we post extra stuff there uh drunk tank episodes other specials uh if you already support us thank you very much you help us keep this thing going and growing and I've rambled my way into another long intro. So thank you to Yanka for putting up with us and coming on the cast. Uh, to any po- uh, Turkish uh, listeners, bizim podcast imize hoş geldiniz. Thanks for clicking on us, and uh, we will see you in the tank. Attention, humans! This is a thunk tank. Please insert this podcast directly into your nearest orifice for viewing pleasure. Okay, you ready? Oh shit. <laughs> Welcome to the Thunk Tank. <laughs> Welcome to the Thunk Tank. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. Welcome. To, come into our. Come into our Thunk Tank. <laughs> Luke, don't switch to the other peanuts. <laughs> Welcome to the Thunk Tank. Come in the tank. We're thinking, and we're thinking, <laughs> and we're thunked, and we're thunked. Oh my god, I'm probably more beer than man if we go far enough back at this point. You know, Turkey, uh, well, you know, in uh, Spanish, they laugh, ja, 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 and in yeah. French, they laugh, ha, ha, ha. Yes. How do they laugh in Turkish? Oh, that's mm. actually a, a f- yeah, oh, the random laugh? I will not answer for you, dear. <laughs> oh, Luke, you're from Turkey. Don't answer. <laughs> by okay. the way, we're joined by Yanka, my fiance. Thank you for the introduction. I'm I don't sorry, know what Yanka. the fuck I'll say you're in the introduction. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can't count on anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, so to answer your question, <laughs> yeah. we do this random laugh thing. Basically, like, I don't know, it started when I was around like 16, 17. You would just like randomly type like... You, you know, on the keyboard, and then whatever comes out, just, just random letters. Yeah, that's yeah. like random. It's called random laugh in Turkish. It's in English, like actually, oh. we say random, random gülme, like ran- random. Oh, that laugh. sounds like huh. random letters. Gülme. Yeah, gülme. No, gülme so is part laughing. means laughing. Yeah. Gülme. But random part is random. Gülme. Gülme. Yeah, which means. Gülme. We can turn this into Joe trying to speak Turkish, but I've tried that at <laughs> bars and it doesn't work out. Well. I speak the best Turkish. We'll get okay. There. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Stella. Yeah, so that's how we laugh, I guess. Just give me get that. What, do you guys have <laughs> stand-up comedy, or do you have like who's the funniest person in Turkey? Oh my god, that's a great question. I have Chris, like uh, my favorite stand-up comedian, yeah. and I think like he's the best and only. Like there are other people too, but they kind of suck. I guess. Nobody is really as good as yeah. him. Yeah, okay. but, like but probably there's some underground people that I don't know, but like um, he's like really famous. He's, Eddie I'm, Murray. What? I would have no. said he's the Louis C.K. in Who? Turkey, but like he does not yeah, jerk off in front of other say that people. anymore. Yeah, yeah. He as far as I know. <laughs> yeah, his name is Jim Yilmaz. Oh, he, great guy. He's yeah. very funny, but obviously... like He's a stand-up? He, yeah, he's oh, like okay. super famous. Does he for, tell jokes or like stories or observation stuff? Observations mostly, because yeah. like there's a lot to observe. Oh, he's Turkish, Turkish Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. I guess something like that. Like maybe... Yeah, it's like very obviously filtered and censored. Is it clean censored. humor or dirty humor? Well, it used to be more dirty, I would say, like in the end of 90s, especially like because like I have like cassettes mm. of his old um, stand up and then it's like so much more kind of dirty. But right now I think it's very Oh, clear. he got cleaner? 
Of course. Do like, you think you because to. he got more popular or just like he other got more stuff going popular, on? Popular, and then his stuff like they're showing it in like movie theaters now. Like they, they did that like one project, they showed it in a movie theater. Oh. Like so, oh, he yeah. has to. He's family friendly but now. But still, yeah. like he's you know he he's like within the boundaries of being clean. He's still, Is there like, like of... any sort of censor like chip in terms of? <laughs> Politically, or I would say so for sure. Like, I don't yeah. think you can make political jokes at all. That's like a territory oh, really? that you don't want to go. No fly zone. Of course, yeah. Like, you, you can't, can't even. You tweet can't be like, like Erwan, jail, like suck my dick. That would be. No uh, good. Well, I don't even know if we can say that on this. You can't podcast. even like probably. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. They'll I'm find me. What are you doing? Oh shit! Sorry. I didn't. I don't think I fly that. there every <laughs> year, dude. Give me a break. How does this affect me? Yeah, I'm American. I mean, <laughs> we all we all we all support the state. It's fine, right? Yeah. No. I mean, I support I support everything. Well, yeah, our ta- our- <laughs> That's such a great Does that scenario. cover my bases? Uh, yeah. I'm convinced. Yeah. yeah, if I was a Turkish tax spot, as they don't- I'd be like, okay, cool, man. Yeah. Don't, as long- Sounds good. Which is probably why I'm not a Turkish I love tacitly spot, but- supporting a state that doesn't currently tacidly. molest me. Yes. That's, 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 that's an interesting I, word. That's how I feel with most. How do you define tacit? Like, you know, like, oh, they're not going after you right now, but, like, you know, you're not. They could. Uh, they could at any time. He's like Putin light. It's not like, yeah. Well, anybody, anywhere. Well, Putin will just sonic boom kill you or whatever. He'll sonic no, attack no, he'll kill just, you. He'll or, just... or, or nuclear poison kill you. You'll just wake up on a train going somewhere. With no organs. Sure. <laughs> Interesting. Well, yeah. If I was it's Putin, I would scary, harvest yeah. your No brain. organs and a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the back of the head. Isn't that yeah. like as much as we bitch about America, uh, we can say as much about Trump's dick as we want. Yeah, yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. All he can do is uh, mo- like... Like most of the world, you can't do that. That's yeah. why I'm staring at yeah. you in silence when we start talking about <laughs> politics. I'm just like thinking of yeah. the extents. Like if I talk I, right I, now... So here's really a question don't, to go don't, back. I don't understand that. Like how, how big that is. Yeah. Here's Seriously, a question like, to go back big. to your comedian thing. Okay. Would that comedian's comedy, you think, transfer to America at all? Uh, and do you think any sort of American... Like, polit- like, would Stephen Colbert be funny in Turkey at all, or no? Could he get away with that? No, probably not. Uh, he couldn't, I'm sure. Well, yeah. I think, like, um, first of all, I, I don't think the our comedian can translate at all, because a lot of the jokes are just, like, cultural references yeah. and, like, just word plays and stuff, obviously. Yeah. That's probably why he's good, though. Like, exactly. People love him, yeah. Yeah, like, and also, like, a lot of them, like, you really have to know the culture, for sure. Like, in here, I think... Like, you know, a guy like Stephen Colbert, like, I think you would understand because, like, people there are more familiar with the American culture and, like, things that are happening. Because, like, it's, like, affecting, influencing the entire world, you know, no matter, like, how, like, you know, even though you're living in a different country, you're definitely influenced by American stuff. So you can get the humor a little better. You grow up with American movies, like, in other countries. Do they have a late show scene? Nobody has a Hollywood like we do. Yeah, exactly. Do they have a late show scene? Do, do they have a like, late show? Do they show? have like late show with whoever? Great question. So we used to. For some reason, they all kind of disappeared. The girls used I don't to know take the their titties that's out. A, and, like, that's such a despot statement. Wave For them all some around. reason, they disappeared. Dude, th- I mean, <laughs> that's what happened. Like, obviously, there is one, Jeez. but it's just yeah. like so family friendly now. Yeah, you're just cringing right. watching it. Like, right. it used it's, to like, be really a bad. thing. Like yeah. ten years ago, fifteen years ago, even like you have no idea what you would see see on TV. Like at midnight, you're like, you know, there's nothing wrong with family Like you can't handle what you're seeing. Yeah. No, that can be, that can work. It's fine, but like yeah. if it, if you're being family friendly because you're from some other source being like like kept from being yourself. Yeah, that's all you have. That, that starts yeah. to feel weird. That's the I only guess, option right? that you're presented with. Yeah. Then it's you, you. I feel like it kind of seeps through at that point where you you get this feeling that well, this is all we're allowed. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it feels no more promise. dishonest or whatever. Yeah. Um, well, it is. Right. But so I wanted to. As much as we can, because I love food and I love Turkish food, and Yanka loves food and Turkish food, mm-hmm. like, and that's um, why it works, folks. And Johnny literally just so. before the cast <laughs> ate Spondi. some leftover <laughs> Turkish <laughs> food, like twenty minutes ago. Let's. Yeah. I mean, you guys know Turkish enough food enough night. Turkish was, food to be great. able to answer this question. But let's go around and just say, what's your favorite Turkish food? Like your favorite dish, whether it's like. A full meal entree thing, or just I'm like already a... hyperventilating. <laughs> well, we're gonna start with you then. <laughs> I don't know where to start. Uh, you know, I mean, it's 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 one of those cuisines where a lot of it is so good, but you so you kind of have to go with what's like your favorite in your heart, even though it might not be Fair objectively forte. the best. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly, or whatever. And so I would say, I mean, for dessert, you gotta love the baklava. Oh, for sure. But for a mm. meal, uh, a, a good falafel pita. I, oh, I just love crunching into some good fucking falafel. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. I totally agree. What about you, Tom? Tom? 
The falafel pita is really good. Um, so Tommy I agrees on the say, falafel pita. No. <laughs> all right, all right, we got consensus. Uh, two, two and zero oh for falafel pita. Uh, so should we order some food? Or is oh, God, where's I love the Turkish food right now? Um, no, I'd probably go with the gyro pita. Oh, classic. Um, <laughs> yeah. What is it that you like about the gyro pita? Oh, I just love the thinly sliced, if it is, um, lamb, and then the gyro sauce. If it is. Oh, my God. So yeah. Throw some onions in there. That's a very Italian thing of you to say, if it is. You yeah, know? sometimes it'll say lamb. Sometimes it's thick, sometimes it's thin. I don't want to assume how you eat your gyro. Yeah. Sometimes they'll say lamb. I don't assume <laughs> gyro identity, all right? Yeah. Wait, Joe, is that a Turkish accent? Man. Nevertheless. That's uh, <laughs> fa- familial. Thing. That's just me growing yeah. up around New Yorkers for too okay. long. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that's what it is. <laughs> You're, yeah. That's just you at a bagel shop on Long Island. Yeah. Reference to last episode slightly. I was going to yell something that he said and then realize that's really bad out of context. Not any of it. Yeah. Um, so what do you like, John? Oh, uh, it's something <laughs> called the, the, uh, it's called a Beatty kebab. I, I think love that. Oh, yeah. I love that one. Which is a lamb, like a spiced lamb. Mm-hmm. Uh, and sometimes the menus will say lamb slash beef. And it's like, which is it? It's like, how is much really, lamb, how much beef? Yeah, is it really yeah. bowl? Like, Come on, we know what's cheaper. A little bit <laughs> the same yeah. bowl. Yeah, you're, it's mostly the cheaper yeah. one, right? But no, it says like a, it was a spiced lamb with uh, like some veg, some spinach or something. I forget what it is, but spinach? it's amazing. And they wrap it in the phyllo dough. Phyllo dough. How do yeah. you say it? I don't know. That's an English word. It's so an I English phyllo, okay. I guess. How, what kind of bread is that that you wrap? That's the it? It's like pita, like not like it a... was kind of a pita. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's so softer probably... though, right? Yeah, like, it's cr- it's like flakier than pita. Oh, I see. Okay, it's like this this. The uh, Sigora It's Bora. fragile. Oh, must be Italian. Okay. Oh, I yeah, I know what stuff. you mean. Yeah, I think filo, though. That's what you say. Filo, yeah. yeah. Uh, filo. That shit's delicious. But also baklava. Baklava. But I, I have Greek, I have dirty, Greek friends who would get angry if I called baklava Dude, let's Turkish food. There, yeah. Let's go. That's the whole thing. Well, I'm just saying, like, if they hear this, they're going to be like, what the fuck? Well, the same thing goes on with everything. Coffee, like, you know, all kinds Coffee. of things. No, I know. Coffee, yogurt, like, you know. But like I, I know it's really it's a regional thing. It's both of you, yours food. Yeah. But there's a lot of issues between y'all about your food. Yes. I get it. I lived in North Carolina. The North when you have South y'all thing. issues, you know they're really like came up. Probably yeah. both have the same scale. food. Like why can't people agree to this? It doesn't yeah. have to be true. No, you got to eat food. olives this way, asshole. It's like we're both eating delicious that Mediterranean. Up, that came olives. up in class on the first day when I did interviews. There was this Turkish kid, mm-hmm. and I said something about falafels. Mm-hmm. And he immediately got very defensive. I don't even remember in on what side. He but he said, started like, talking about are not a thing. Yeah, he started talking about Greek fruit oh versus God. Turkish food. I'm like, dude. If people I are just still doing that in 2019, like I don't know. Like, it's he was very stupid. defensive about falafels. Oh, passionate. Oh, no, I think he said that he's he's like falafels aren't Turkish. Let me I just mean, put it they... this way: we went to the Greek festival here, and she <laughs> said, "Luke, don't speak Turkish here." Just like FYI. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> just in case. I mean, you never know. No, just because I love everybody. It's not worth it if it's. If you get the wrong, if you're gonna find, what are you gonna say in Turkish find... that's gonna blow up the situation? I, I, mean, I don't mean, mean to, like if, if somebody's besmirch. drunk at a, a festival like that, yeah. and, and they're then just realizing like, they're Turks, you know, like, like what hey, the fuck, fuck like, you. Like, like, you know. Yeah, I don't want to besmirch either the country. Greeks or the Turks in saying that. Like the only place really in America you're gonna get anti-Turk hate is gonna be from an angry Greek guy, right? Uh, Armenians. Or okay, maybe there you, are got, you guys got beef here. with Armenians. Yes. I mean, for sure. I love oh, wasn't there like a whole wrong, genocide like, thingy? Yeah, yeah, they're probably beef. Yeah. Where was the Assyrian, there, yeah, was the Assyrian Empire? Was that in Turkey? Wait, wait, is it the Assyrian Empire? Was that in Turkey? Assyrian. Oh, what's that in Turkish? Assyrian. As- Asur. Assyrian. Yeah, that sounds about right. I see. Um, I I don't want to say the wrong thing, but it must be because like it sounds familiar from like the yeah, because that was one of the very early. I think it was closer to Syria. Yeah, it was but like within the border. It wasn't the Syria. Of it was one of them. Just one of them. It's A Syria. <laughs> yeah, eh, you know, you have A Syria, B Syria, C Syria. No, A Syria is like asymmetry. It's like not Syria. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh, like like it, like. And... Luke, that might have been the smartest thing you've ever said on this podcast. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you've peaked. Can you pass me you're a beer? Your, yeah, you're at your peak, Luke. <laughs> By the way, we're crushing Yinling and Miller Light. Or like bosses. Miller Light. Mm-hmm. So. Um, <laughs> Oh, that, that's important. For those of you craft beer people <laughs> that follow our podcast, <laughs> like, we're, we're not um, like... I'm in full trash. We're not those like, right now. like annoying, you can't drink fucking Miller Lite type of people. We've been oh, crushing we, them uh, all we week. We get into it. We, we went into to a beer festival we do Miller Lite cast. two days ago, and then yeah. the next day we crushed... Oh, sorry. We crushed a shitload of... Sometimes Miller it's obviously Lite. the night where you want like six Yinling and not like four Treehouse that, that you just... 
feel like you ate a I Thanksgiving love meal or something. I love that your scale is yeah. either six yingling or four tree There's conversion there. Well, i got to get the buzz, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm talking You'll be about. wasted if you have four tree houses. Uh, I meant, like, it. sharing with someone. Like, but, but I was literally talking Fair to enough. a doctor it's... today. You guys are going to love this. And I, guess, you... I filled out the, the, well, oh, the chiropractor. Yeah. No, no. He I said to... doctor, though. He's a doctor of <laughs> chiropractic. And I had to fill out one of those symptoms charts. And one of them was, like, you know, excessive thirst. And I was just like, yeah, I'm always thirsty. So I, ch- I checked it off because I am always thirsty. Like, doesn't matter how much water I've drank for a long time. Especially um, since all the water I drink is beer. Right. And we refer to Miller Lite as water. I'm like, oops, sorry. It's very To the point where when you ask for water, in the you, middle of the day, I'll yeah. still bring you, you bring Miller, me Miller Lite. Light. Yeah. 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 And you're like, no, Joe, sometimes. I need to drink water at some point. <laughs> it's I possible do, your, your brain's not being quenched of thirst because... Too many of those times you well, go for water, you go for a Miller Lite, actually. Well, words have meanings, right? So you can like, reassign water. those meanings. So like, water did is you? <laughs> sort of a unit of to water yourself. So Miller Lite can be used as that, <laughs> you know? Oh, T-Bone, I'll take a... a so speaking of, the Miller, Miller Lights are coming out now. But so the doctor, he's like, oh, what's that about? I was like, well, you know, I drink a Thanks lot. You. I drink like yeah. 10, 10 drinks of water a day easily. And I saw Annie look at me and start, like, I heard her laughing in the next room because she yeah. knew I meant Miller's. <laughs> yeah. Because this week so I've been crushing Miller's. So you told the doctor you have 10 waters a day. Because I'm still drinking, and like, you, you know, meant beer. <laughs> Let me just get that straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and you wonder, uh, did he have trouble diagnosing you correctly? No, it went great. He's like, well, it seems like your diet's perfect. I can't explain, like. Dude, I crossed out whole sections on the sheet, like, spouse's name and job. I was like, he doesn't need to know that. She's not here right now. You just crossed it cross out. Stuff out. I always do that at doctor's office. No, but some of the doctors don't answer it. Some of the doctors yeah. give iPads where you like it won't let you continue to the next. Yeah, you I'll just hand notes. it to them and go. I don't know what to tell you. You put I'm something. I, I put the relevant <laughs> info. Like, in. I'm here to do this. Like if the computer, you can have my working, debit card and my problem. insurance number. Yeah. You want me to sign really somewhere? Done. Okay, yeah. like I'm not. That's what yeah. you really want. You can't make me play with your iPad. I don't think they can. The doctor can't make you play with their iPad. And then the iPad's asking me how much weed do you smoke, and I'm like, Yeah, um, I don't know. What do you want me to say? Should I? lie is no, that no, the game cool. here that or perjury? should i tell you is there a, a link between like weed and cake and cholesterol or something that i don't know about you know what i mean <laughs> no no you and just i'll tell you know. something else in turkey their cholesterol levels are through the roof really? yeah i mean in a good way they're low they're they're through the oh. basement oh that's so confusing. Then why'd you say it like <laughs> the most confusing way to, to so. give that news. guys i have horrible news uh, Congratulations, your test results are positive. <laughs> oh, so I don't have HIV? They're positive, no. Not I mean, cancer. you're positive. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? That's a great oh, ski oops. mask. It's like, what? Positively terrible. But I mean, like, uh, the Mediterranean diet in general, like, lots of olive oil, lots of healthy fats, yeah. and... and our Western like diet would predict. Oh, their their cholesterol is going to be super high. No, but if it's good, they'll have lots fast. of cardiovascular problems, and they have less. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I think there's something Zero. about like Mediterranean diets that there there's something not there's something healthier about it than the, the American diet. Well, yeah, obviously, those French people who live to 110 and, and 10 chugging olive oil. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, what olive oil is amazing. They'll, drink, they'll that, drink a quart of olive oil a day and live to 107. But, but that area, like the, the Greeks, it's the Greeks and the Turks, to be honest. That whole like area. You can be honest here, John. There's okay. more. I'm being wow. honest, guys. Wow. <laughs> wow. Can you it's, leave it's, that part It's out? both wow. of y'all. Please. I like using y'all to talk about ethnic groups. It's a thing they do. He in lives in the South. He can do it. I've just, I've appropriated that. I've decided from now on. For the rest of my whatever. Uh, have a it, hush puppy. You guys have here. more blue zones than anywhere else in the world, I'm pretty sure. Like the highest concentration. And a blue zone is a population term. And it's where people live over 100. Oh, okay. So, so the idea of, I forget what it's called. Not subtagerian. Whatever. Centigerian. <laughs> uh, but like if you live over 100 in like Dope actual amounts, like even a small village, if one person lives that, that shows like in, incredible health. So the fact that there's several... It throws off their their uh, like life expectancy compared to the rest of the planet by like a crazy margin. Yeah, a couple and in a small village will report, alter. Yeah. Yeah. The only mm-hmm. thing they can point to is like maybe it's like a specific like familial thing because they've been there so long, or it's the diet, and it's kind of a mixture. But it's the diet mixed, is yeah. that good that if your body can respond to it, it's, it's probably Who a told good you call. This? I read a whole article about it. Where? By Gary Tobbs? <laughs> Johnny, was it yeah, by... I've, I've but blue zones are a real source. thing. Look it up. Was it by Gary Tobbs, Johnny? Pull it up. Eh, what? Gary Tobbs? I, I, believe you. I have no idea. <laughs> he wrote that big New York Times article about how the sugar industry like collaborated with scientists so that they could put out the message that 
high fat diets are bad, bad. Are bad yeah. and and sugar is not that bad. That's what yeah. I was saying. And Confederate soldiers it seems used to be to the opposite of what's true. Roll cornmeal in it, fry it, and wrap it around a bayonet, and they mm. they. Wait, sit, to kill people? No, to eat, survive on it. And they <laughs> like that's, the, that's, they, wait, with the same blade weird. that they killed people with? Yeah. And they survived, Did they clean it? They survived no. the, the North <laughs> like for several years on that. That was like their main food stuff. Oh. That's crazy. Because you can live on a high-fat diet, and for a lot sure. of people have. But, yeah, the sugar lobby. They yeah, really especially when you're fueled by uh, secession and, and bloodlust. Yeah, and land rights. I mean, you're getting your daily fat here from McDonald's so like there's probably a different not you do but like majority. wow wow really Yonka? of course there is <laughs> yeah there's so many Mc- yeah so do they have KFC many. yeah do they have Subway it, does yes. it taste different yeah. I have never had KFC here in America so Don't. I have no idea but but I had McDonald's up, once it there, what no, fast food would you have eaten I or have Sharon, eaten whatever. good question so McDonald's was the type of restaurant when I was little like when I was around like exciting? six seven like you would go out to McDonald's, like it was a, like an oh, event. Like you would dress too. up yeah, and then like take the family out, there. It yeah. used to be better food. It really was. McDonald's. It was a whole thing. To oh, McDonald's yeah. was good. It was a better yeah. service, better food. Exactly. It's so when just I was, gotten worse since like when my dad was a kid. McDonald's was uh, good food. It was good. Same good when meat. I was a kid. It was like going to Five Guys. It was like or that. Something, yeah, my, right? yeah, my yeah, grandma used to order her. They made the burgers there. They used to make them on site. They not get them ordered and like pre frozen, and it was really good quality meat because it had to be. And my grandma would order her ground beef through them and, like, get meat to make amazing stuff. They sold oh, ground well. beef, like, from behind the kitchen? Yeah, because I mean, the my manager dad might have just been taking it. But, but the we manager was, like, it's the <laughs> Either 70s, way. I'll sell you meat. I have it. It's 1977. But whatever. <laughs> yeah, I got meat. I yeah, got a I got, freezer. Let's I got meat. meat. You got cash. Yeah. Let's, let's make a deal. Let's meet. meat. Corporate's not going to know. There's right. No, you, the can't go to McDonald's. you can't go to McDonald's and ask for a block of meat. Maybe some block would be like, that's weird. We're like a bag of meat. Sure, so like somebody must have fucked up the counting. I have. More they wouldn't th- think somebody's selling ground beef to Johnny's grandma or whatever the fuck. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, no, he said he would. Uh, he would he, he never time. said this, but he might have said that uh, if you, he, you know, you order the the crate, uh, you know, the box. The statute of, beef, of limitations you go is grab gone it. on that crime. So just say. Yeah, whatever. you go grab the you go grab the case of beef, and then before the boss comes in, then he comes in and goes, "Hey, I gotta go grab that case of beef," and he looks around and goes, "Okay, yeah, yeah, take that one." And now you got two cases. Right. You know, he didn't notice the first one. Otherwise, you say, didn't you it take one? It could be one? that, yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah. And it's like, it prove one. it. Like, your security cameras don't exist. Because those so, are really expensive. What Was there any items that were different? Did you guys have stuff we don't have? Was it a different menu? I don't think so. That I think that started to happen later. Then okay. we started having, like, McTurco burgers. Like, just Turkish. It was named McTurco. I still Mc remember. McTurco. Yes. McTurco. Awesome. Oh Turco? my god! I didn't know yes. this was a thing. That's incredible. This McDonald's had an item so called delicious. McTurco. Yes, but then <laughs> that sounds like that's the, some shit I would. Wait, sounds like, like the fakest, time. most racist Irish character ever. That's so funny. McTurco. McTurco. What is he magically delicious? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Go on. No, it's okay. I mean, that was like a thing for I think two, three years, and then they stopped making that. What was the McTurco? That's a great question. So it was just regular patty like maybe a little different like i don't know what it was it was in a like a pita it was camel wasn't it Ooh, pita Ooh, yeah it was camel pita. meat yeah <laughs> so thanks for breaking the news yeah, yeah it was like That's in the middle of like a pita and then there was like this um tzatziki kind of like sauce. Oh, we don't call it tzatziki like that's a greek name but so it, like yeah. i don't want to get like but it was attacked, that kind but... of sauce that yes vibe, that kind of yogurt of kind sauce, of kind yeah. of yeah that kind of sauce oh that's cool and um yeah some a lot of like kind of onions like it's, it was like mediterranean it was like more middle mediterranean eastern yeah exactly and was it good it was great. I, I loved it. Like it, it was. It sounds amazing. like that would actually be a thing in America. Yeah. People would like that here. I yeah, think. I guess it's. They, they, it would, it's just ethnic enough for. Yeah, but really the McDonald's yeah, right? here, yeah. they would calculate it. They'd be like, you know what? This only gains us one percent of profit. Because you know what? So yeah. fuck it. Because yeah. people that want it's not worth it. No, it's a good idea, but yeah. fuck yeah. it. Like it doesn't make money. Yeah. That's it. No, it doesn't yeah. make enough money. Yeah. It's not exactly. worth changing over to. Meanwhile, the one percent of McDonald's like national profits for a small business would be like, oh my god, we're booming. Yeah. Right. And McDonald's goes, eh, it's easier to keep things the way they are. It's working. How do we make a <laughs> millionth of a penny more per burger, which adds up? Well, because you take your product that's being sold a billion times across the country yeah. and increase the profits by three cents. No, and increase like the insane. profit by a fraction of a cent. Well, this is why airlines will, will buy aircraft that are like 15% more fuel efficient or 5% more fuel efficient. You know, right. it's like that adds up over time, you know? Yeah. And it keeps adding up. It just keeps paying more and more. All right. So we got to bring up the, the topic of the Turkish Teze 
because they have tasers. It took no, me. God. It took me like a year or three to like fully understand <laughs> what a taser that's, is. That's so ridiculous. A year, a year or, or, or several. The, oh, several. The process started on year one, but like it may have not. It at, may have leap yeared apparently. There's like a humor and like a, a sort of like cultural vibe around like what a taser is. Oh, is that the ugly old people? <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to I say don't it. Answer to <laughs> so I'm on. Wait, 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 wait. I, say I have yes. one last McDonald's question. Okay. Who, who's is better, Turkish or American McDonald's? Okay, wonderful question again. The so I haven't had McDonald's different. in ages, Yonka's so I don't want to be lame. But you can't say questions. words. <laughs> wonderful well, question. question. Yeah. Thank no, you. it is. Yeah, thank you. Yonka. No, she's a great guest. She's <laughs> been complimenting all my questions. <laughs> I feel great. Thank you, Yanka, so much. You're welcome. I'm so good at this. I'm also being like, oh shit, Yanka's better at podcasting than us. Go Way figure. Way <laughs> she really is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't have an answer to that question. That's okay. what I was going to say because I That's haven't had answer. McDonald's in ages. So okay. I don't know. All right. Now you can go back to your meaningful discussion. You were talking about uh, uh, the, the, the Turkish the, the, the old chicks. Yeah. Old chicks. Can, is that Yanka, right? can is you have the proper term? Can you give. <laughs> uh, I'll supplement if it's needed, but give your just like if you had to give a one minute explanation of what the Taze is. That's very hard. It, in, so I started following a bunch of Turkish meme accounts on Instagram, and you need a. a it sounds like a tough street gang. <laughs> Pretty much, like they are like a gang. No, if, if like, anybody out there knows anybody that's looking to hire a guy for. Pretty much any work don't, for any amount of money. Don't. Uh, no. Don't. <laughs> because, yeah, I watch way too many uh, Turkish meme things on Instagram. Um, and there are Taze's. Where, there? So, yeah, Taze's. But the Taze is like a whole category of humor. And it's sort of just like this funny, like, it's like a personality type that way too many people, like, kind of bottleneck into. What's the version? Between American the age of Taze's. 40 I have no and idea. 60. What's, what's the American version? Either? American version. Then? Like, ah, that's what I'm saying. We so don't have hard. the category. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you why you what's don't the, have it. Yeah. People hear ages differently, I think. Really? Yeah, we like, lock up not like people. Physically, it's just like you either have this like 50-year-old woman that's just taking super good care of themselves and looking like, you know, those crazy haircuts from 80s, like yeah. just like... Just looking super like weird, yeah. like that kind yeah. of mom. Someone like me who's just going to shit. We, or just like. We have a lot of plastic. <laughs> who doesn't care? Yeah, yeah like yeah. you either have that or like, you know. Not the baby boomer just generation. Straight up like old. You know, so I'm an old is the person. Is Taze in between? Not really. Like, I don't know. It's like a cultural thing. It's more thing. like First a creature all, thing. It's, shut up. First of all, the word Taze means end, literally. But oh, is it reason, like an annoying ant? Like a weird, annoying ant? Yeah, yes. but that's not, they're not your ants. They're just like what we name. Like older, so I, I, you would woman, see one in the like, grocery store. The equivalent I think of is the, like, is like the Slavic babushka type. I, I would say so. Right? Yeah, like the grandma. I, I looked up that word yeah. and Johnny. That's yeah. exactly like, like the, the equivalent. Or, or yeah. in America, the Italian grandma, which is less common now. But yeah. for the baby boomers, their kids, a lot of them, including us, had the Italian grandmas. Oh, so Tazes aren't hot. Yeah, but so you don't. Oh no, 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 you do not. You do not but want to. They have like a stereotypical. Approach to being grandma type or motherly yeah. matronly. Oh, type. Exactly. Old, you don't have older? to be at the grandma age. That's the thing. Uh, like the moment you evolve to your taser, like they have this like specific type of walk. They walk like penguins, like from side oh, to we side. Have these old so, like these old yeah. people. Yeah. And then like you don't have to be super old. Like they usually cover their like head, but like not in a religious way. Like just kind of like and like you know, why not cover like, my head away? <laughs> Do they suck? Are they good? Are they bad? It depends. It they're like, like they in a neighborhood. They're like the surveillance. Mm. Like they would always gossip within each other. They would would always Wait, know what's going are on they, exactly. Are they the Turkish Karens? I have an important question. Do, <laughs> okay. do the Tezes know that they're Tezes? Mm. Are they self aware? I think yeah. I think they, they do. Are they I think, <laughs> I think I think they sign up for a system. So I don't know. I, that's I think what I mean. Is it like they look a dark, alike? They order? all are exactly. I think look there's like a head Taze. That's what I mean. Is there a secret order of Taze? It I might so. be. They're like surveillance. I'm telling you. I think like, it's more powerful than gossip, the Catholic Church. Those are the ones that are spreading through the it neighborhood. Sounds almost like, like kind of the Tezes own the country of Turkey. Let me put it that way. There are on. Is there a head Taze? Yeah. Is there is there a lead Taze? Like a so they kind of. Mother Taze. Good question. Wait, are they only men, men or women or one or the other or both? Oh, they're always women. Only, Taze, they're like they're ends. Like they're okay. like that's the word is end, but like oh, they're like okay. grandmas ish. Like okay, mm, like a like a matron. I think I'm getting you know, it. Yeah, one, they, they, they're, they, they're also the type that age in like, like an a older curve, kind so of they, they curl type, over more and more mother, as they age. But performing those kind of yeah, oh yeah, I think it's something like that. But um, 
Yeah, it's it's very complicated. I, I really want to like sh- show a picture at this point, but like we'll post yeah. something. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll post the episode. The, the episode it, picture will be a teaser. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not even like teasing, that yeah. important of a topic, but it's just like there it's are a lot a of thing. memes it's going on support. around. It's part it. of the culture. Yeah, exactly. It's but there's thing. also something. Do you have any Taze in your family? Ah, uh, extended family, maybe. Of maybe course, your mom's I, th- I think yeah. Okay. Not my mom's friends. Didn't you say one of your mom's friends like went Taze? You go Taze, by the way, between yeah, the age of 40 and 55. Yeah, exactly. You go Taze. Yeah. You either go yeah, Taze or, really or age gracefully. Like, there's nothing in between. Like, yeah. Mm. You have to be like an academically <laughs> yeah. aging, like, graceful thing or become a Taze, and then you can do whatever you want. A lot you of get as like, fat as you want members, because yeah. you just wrap more Taze cloth around you. You know what I mean? Right. They're well, usually really you overweight. Wear, you have to wear the uh-huh. cloth. You don't have to. No, no but not it, necessarily. it covers the fat. That's what I'm trying to say. So, so is it is it a stigma? Like, you don't want to be a Taze. Oh, of course not. No, yeah, but if absolutely. you are already going in that direction, just become one and then let go of it. I think I get it's it. It's like I, Johnny I, you're, admitting you're saying, he's going like, bald. The, I have some just of these in my family. Already. What percentage of right? the population in Turkey is Taze? Yeah, oh my God, I have no idea. How am I supposed to know this? No, no, you don't have to do anything. I'm thinking when you compare it to Americans, how you have categories of sort of... Italian grandmas, like aren't you right. guys like Italian, like, or, like yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. Type, yeah. So but it's just more of a like category that. in Turkey. That's you do know? they cook? Exactly. Oh yeah, big time. Oh, like they would they just cook. cook. Like they, that's they, their like thing. They overreact to everything you tell. Them. Yeah, and they kiss you just a little like too long too and weird, like much. on the chick cheeks they and stuff. I think I get it. Exactly. Yeah, they yeah. want you to sit with them when you want to go play. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. and then they'll just like <laughs> yeah, talk to, about the time. relatives that you have no idea about, like right, oh, and tell you all this stuff. And, and yeah. you're like, well, their their academic their expertise hands, yeah. is yeah. in the family details. They yes. know everything that everyone's exactly. doing. Exactly, right? They're yeah. but You know, it's weird because that's important yeah. stuff, yeah. That's and, and but okay. we don't care as kids. Yeah. Well, certainly but you end up kids, carrying yeah. in your twenties. You're like, man, I wish I paid attention. Yeah, because you're not a Taze. Oh my god. Also, I'll tell you this. Yeah, we had a Taze. What? If the Taze is old enough, like if it's at the grandma age. You have to, like, as a sign of respect, kiss her hand and then, like, put it up on your, like, forehead after How kissing. How often? <laughs> That's just every time you see him? Every, every five minutes? I, I would say, no, every time you see him after, yeah. like, a long time. Oh, it's it's like That's a Like, I don't do that with my grandparents. Do you have to like actually chill. kiss their hand? Like, how how? That's a good question. That's a very good question. Hand? I yeah. spend my childhood <laughs> trying to figure out, like, what is an acceptable <laughs> kiss but not a kiss yeah, like, you don't want to wait you spent time. your entire yeah. childhood yeah. yeah it's a traumatic event like if someone's hand is coming up onto you and you're yeah. like a 90 year old you move especially in old I you always had that problem dying hand I always yeah. had that problem with older yeah. Oh, yeah. older yeah. Italian de- relatives who would go to kiss you on the cheek the female relatives the aunts and stuff yeah. would go to kiss you on the cheek and they kind of do this like mwah like, but not touch your cheek, but yeah. some would. They put the yeah. lips so aside I, and make so them. So it's like, you don't want to yeah. kiss them on the cheek if they don't kiss you I'll try the kissing cheek. them their Or hands. whatever. So really? I've always just kind of done the air one, like, very, very <laughs> half-heartedly. <laughs> and it's always, like, jarring when they get you. Yeah. yeah. If it's so too like, much I, of an well, air one, though, There's nothing you can work. do, though. Sometimes like, there's way too much wetness, too, you know? Yeah, but you're like, it's just And you're like, oh, you just you just slobbered on me. That's what happened. And we're going to pretend I just said goodbye to you, but you slobbered on me drunkenly at this party. While I smiled. While I know you're going to drive home drunk, you fucking weirdo. This sounds you know? like, like a specific <laughs> episode that Luke needs yeah, to, that to work hard. through. Uh, <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you about that story off My ants are quite lovely. <laughs> Wait, Yanka, no, I have a question that had nothing to do with my hands either. Okay. Oh, yeah, it just got real specific. Is there a better a person. dessert than uh, baklava? Because that's the one that that I feel uh, if Americans know about Turkish desserts. Is there a better Turkish dessert? Turkish delight or baklava? So is is there a better uh, or is that considered a really good Turkish dessert? Or are we just ignorant? I mean, we are ignorant, but What's are we more ignorant? Than what did we, we eat know? after barbecuing in the forest? Oh, kunefe. Yeah, kunefe. That's Ooh. like also Arabic too. Like that's What's very that? Ar- Arabic. Like it's like super southern Turkey kind of like Ooh. that's what, what um, goes belongs into that? there. It's like um oh, good question. So there is like this hmm, sugar. For sure, <laughs> but um I'm not quite sure. Like something um kind of how do you say that? Sherb sherbet sweet? Sherbet? Like, I guess that's the yeah, word. It's, it's an caramel. Ice cream. Um, no, like kind of melted sugar like goes on top, and there's like this cheese inside of it. Oh, they like, do. It's use, like a yeah. pastry. You had me at melted whole... sugar and cheese. Yonka. Okay, there's like a oh pastry, not like baklava. It's like a pastry like... with a dessert around it, right? Like it has that um, like, pa- like, a like cheese puff it has that like thing? cheese bread kind of feel in the middle, 
but on yeah. the outsides is like a sweet like Caramelly. coating and caramel yeah like yeah. baklava like kind of some a baklava sort of outside liquid something like yeah. sweet yeah. something out on the outside it's intense but when you like cut through it and then like take a bite the cheese kind of melts and like, oh, it's, wow. it's, it sounds like it's warm. something that is worth it's incredible. Yeah. It? I think yeah. I got type two diabetes yeah. after yeah. eating. You'll, yeah, exactly. That's I mean, oh, that's why. you're getting yeah. one. And then I went to a cocktail bar. Every time you eat it, <laughs> so you know yeah. that's how you deal with that. <laughs> so Kunefe is incredible. Apparently, Trader Joe's is selling Kunefe right now. Frozen, really? Oh, yeah, cool. Cool. frozen Kunefe. Like I, I'm I sure trust, it's not great. I like, trust Turkish desserts after baklava. Amazing. I, I, I trust you, your guys. We also have an incredible pumpkin dessert. Like I really, oh really? Yeah, like you just they have pumpkins in Turkey. You boil oh the God. pumpkin? Here we go again. <laughs> I always boil there it. There are pumpkins in Turkey. Yes. Pumpkins only exist in Halloween. <laughs> wait, in you, America. Wait, you have America. America. Halloween. Shut up. You right. have having in Turkey? I, I think you have pump, things? I think pumpkins are from Where do you America, grow pumpkins? Though, Come on. I have no idea, but I'm either. highly, like, it's only highly unlikely. No it offense. I'm going to look it up. What's, okay. your, what's your biggest crop in Turkey? What's my biggest what? Crop. Like, what's the, is, like, what do they grow the most? Because it's like corn, probably. Good question. You know? I, I don't know. Is, are, are I don't want to say for something a staple wrong. like that or or meat in particular, because America's the land of corn and beef. I feel like maybe chicken. Uh, I mean, you know. I think we grow a lot of things, but like the famous, if you're looking for fa- famous, like it's hazelnut, like super Ooh, famous. Really? Like we, I think supply <gasps> you, hazelnut. You guys have pomegranates too, right? I guess so. I mean, I think those are I Middle Eastern, oh, right? They make a lot of yeah. pomegranate juice on the streets. Like you can, like, yeah, because sure. I, I think yeah, pomegranates are native to Syria or, or right Turkey, now. like, yeah. like the whole, that whole region. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot yeah. of pomegranates, but I don't know, like in particular. Let me think. We definitely hazelnuts, but um, nice. what else? Olives. Olives for sure. Pistachios. Yeah. I Honestly, think, the olives like, that we we go to a Turkish market to get olives, and we've been having them for breakfast for the last while. That sounds good. And. God, they taste so much different than any other olive you'll buy from a grocery store here. Of course, yeah. yeah. Even like the nice olives from yeah. Whole Foods, they have a taste, but and and maybe they're good. I don't know. I I prefer the. I just it can't. could just be that I ate olives for the first time in Turkey. I don't know, but the point is like no, the taste is so radically for different of years. when it's yeah. grown somewhere else. You know. Yeah, but they yeah. they've also been mm. experts at olives for also, thousands of years. Yeah. And it's different enough that they yeah. fucking ship a bunch of them to be on a random also, there's Turkish still, like, ship market olives. in Long Island. Like, like we should try. Good, yeah. We should really like go to a village like somewhere like where they're raising and bring down. Like, whatever the oil olives and the oil. It, it takes of it. It's it takes so giddy up. It takes like twenty or thirty years for an olive tree to produce yes. any olives. That's 30. so beautiful. So the idea that's why yeah. they all come from there because who else is going to commit that kind of time to try to compete with? The, that's such a great the best fact, olives you know? already. Like so, the long term, it's the whole like a yeah. man's like whatever. That's crazy. You know, what other crops are like that? Very, plant a tree few. whose shade you will never enjoy. You know, yeah. Like, there's no other plant like that. Like sure, if, if you own an olive tree Ooh. farm, you're going to like be planting trees that that you will see become a tree, and like you'll help it be raised. That's why you just and you know you'll never participate in it making olive oil or olives right. or whatever. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. That's how much so we li- we use olive oil in almost everything. And a lot of time I'm drunk and I'm just <laughs> like, eh, olive I know, yeah, oil. me too. Yeah. Oh, Stop a Shop's bottle is big enough. <laughs> it costs thirty cents more than last week. Isn't it, it sucks. Isn't it incredible? Yeah. It just sucks. You have this hand pressed oil from a, a fucking yeah, it's just never enough. Uh, the world. Why do I even bother buying it? I gotta get new olive oil. A lot of it is bullshit, though. There's a lot of artificial. Obama and ruined it. And fraud olive oil out there. There's all yeah. sorts of special anti-olive oil agencies in Italy that are probably totally corrupt. The anti-olive oil? There's what? specific departments of the The police. mafia? The olive oil the, mafia? Yeah, there's specific Italian police units in charge right. of uh, olive oil fraud. Because they'll like, use shitty canola oil and label uh, it well, olive oil. Yeah, or mix, it, mix them. Mix it yeah, in. They'll, right. they'll like raid a, a, a random plant now and then and catch them with vats full of canola and be like, what you right. doing with that? You're an They're olive like, oil plant. Guys, we have to be What you doing? Huh? It's like, oh, nothing. It's We're like, Italy, what do you mean this nothing? is what we do. We're not you, doing anything with You think canola. I won't smell whether that oil is olive or and not? And supposedly that they, the guards have to actually taste the oil. The guards? Like lab no, no. The that lab tests like... lab tests were getting <laughs> falsified. Sounds like bullshit. Yeah, no, they bought <laughs> off the labs. And they were being falsified, so the, the police had to, the, the like officers had to go and taste the oil. They have officers taste enough. the oil. Official, yeah, oil, oil officers. Oil, oil taste. I would like to fact check that. The OO do. department, the OO <laughs> division. I'll bet you a beer. It's true. Honestly, I would never bet you a beer 
on a, a fact you give like that because it's usually true. <laughs> it's, right? It's just hard to believe. It's usually at least it's, somewhat true. It's just there's, hard to believe that that that, that, you, that your memory oh, works a in a way there. where you can store that fact. You know, only works that way. I'm really bad at storing like factual memory. It takes me like a lot of cognitive effort to store memory. I think you tend to like. Huh? Is it good to hear? <laughs> yeah. Be aware from now. Yeah, good to know. <laughs> You're just figuring this out now, guys. <laughs> you always find a way everything. to convince me <laughs> with this fact. So. Oh no, I have a great memory. She knows. I have a huge brain. <laughs> <laughs> I have the hugest brain. <laughs> huge. Um, yeah. So, uh, huge, huge. One way I thought I could um, convince or at least describe Turkish culture is the fact that. Uber tried to exist in Istanbul, and Uber no longer exists in Istanbul, and it happened because of a really simple equation. Most of the cab drivers in Istanbul started beating the shit out of anyone who was driving Uber, and then they just oh, banned yeah. it. Yeah, that's, that's what a, happened. That's a strong union. Yeah. That's a strong yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't an official union. It's just like all the cab drivers were like, yeah. it's fucking bullshit. Yeah. Let's just beat them up. <laughs> they called an Uber. Like a bunch of cab drivers called an Uber. Like to where and they then are, him? and then literally beat the shit out of the guy when he arrived. That's kind of that's awesome. unbelievable. That's how you... It's not yeah. awesome. It, it's no, no, not no, the right word. No, it's it's like watching a sitcom where you laugh because the laugh track's going. But if you were actually living in it, you would say this is a fucking nightmare. In this a kind, in, in a kind of this is how democracy works kind of way. It's sort yeah. of like they'll get the message. Like let's just make the the government ban the business of Uber because we'll make more. It, otherwise, more we'll keep doing more. this. Yeah. And the yeah. Uber app can't tell, like, how, to, you know, like, like. There's no button rating for <laughs> I got my ass beat. That doesn't exist. There's no button rating for, like, block all these other new people who will just register for Uber and call an Uber and right. then, like, get the shit beat out of them. Yeah, they're know? like, we just don't want to do that anymore. So uh, Somebody it. want to beer me a beer? Yeah, and all the pussies in Yanka... Paris did was block the highway exits. Right? Can, right. can Yanka Cabby teach driver? us some Turkish? I think that's a good way to uh, progress sure. here. I would like to learn some Turkish, please. Sure, you you already know what Turkish. Shishkim gelda. No, you still can't say it. I guess. Shishkim gelda. No, but like really oh try. I, I think I, I think he, he's you're really trolling trying. us. He's you're okay. trolling us. No, no, you, I, it's okay. you, you know how much of a moron I am. What are you talking? I, I know both of those facts, but you're trolling <laughs> us. Shishkim gelda. Lemebib. No wait, what was it? That was it. Oh god! If someone Turkish is listening to this, I'm very sorry. I really tried. Merhaba. Leblebi. Merhaba. Do no, uh, Chishim. 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 No, but he's still. No, he's fine. Just, just stop. Say like choo choo, like a train. Choo choo. That cha sound. Oh, look, could you hold on one second? Chishim. I just, I want to tell you about that. Chishim get. Uh, Joe, go ahead. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that translate to? It means I need to pee. My pee has <laughs> oh, arrived. I say you need to shit. Oh, uh, kaka gelda. Yeah, that like now you said wait, someone's wait, wait. poop arrived. Hold on, I got a question. Whose poop we don't know. When, if you were horny, <laughs> would you say my horny has arrived? Yeah, my horn has. Or my moment. like, is that, yeah. or my sex has arrived? Does that translate? <laughs> that is that one? orgasm? Yeah. I don't know. That's not how you say it. I guess. I know. How would my the, sex how would it has translate? arrived? No, how yeah, would it translate orgasm. that you were like wanting to? Uh, you would say like I want to have sex, I guess. Okay. You don't well, want to say to uh, me I want sex. Oh, you guys don't you have mean, like you mean like, and stuff. How do you I say mean, like my course. sex drive has just arrived? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's not the same. My uh... sex drive has revved. No, not everything they say sounds like Shakespeare. Oh, like yeah, also, it then doesn't sound point? like just Shakespeare to us, obviously. Like, it's right. just that's just how you say it. Like, it's not weird. Let me right. give you an no, example. If you pick apart English and English Shakespeare sounds phrases. weird to us. No, it's, it's not totally normal. different. In Tur- it's just funny in Turkish because so many, like, like saying that something has arrived to me uh-huh. is so antithetical to how English is ordered. The same yeah. yeah, that's for sure. I mean, it's, it's like completely... But that's opposite. deeply culturally rooted if you go but, back through the history of language. No, but Joe, the way I, the way I say it in it English is. is the best way to understand it in English to translate to Turkish. In other words, like I still have to often, with a Turkish sentence, think it in English, but I've gotten good at thinking in English in Turkish. So I think to myself, to me... What you might do? Have you thought about it? You know, like, like I, I, I think you think whatever you just thought. What? I believe that. That's absolutely not how I learn languages. Though. I know like, it's not, and I'm jealous of you. Like, I I'm can't not learn languages here, like that. Though, like, you should try to like. Yeah, but Yanka speaks way better English. I can switch into that mode. I mean, obviously, because just think in the language, Luke. 
Well, I really try Luke to force myself that's, to do that. It's such a hard thing to do. Like, that happened know. to me after, like, <laughs> two years of living here, obviously. So. Johnny's like, I know, I was being a dick. I can't. <laughs> I barely speak the English good. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. No, but she, we, we, we learn languages very differently. And as a musician, I, I approach a language. And I've actually, like, to most of my adult piano students, I talk to them about piano playing the way I have learned language, which is something is very conscious and then you deliberately repeat it for accuracy and then at some point you try to make a shift between the conscious mind doing it and letting go and having it feel like an autopilot so, so is do running that. it. Well, yeah. so I do that, but the problem is with listening. Like, for example, last night we were, we were walking through town and there's a Turkish shop and, like, the lady was outside so we said hello and then Yanka and the lady were talking for about 15, 20 minutes and I was there and and she would sometimes look over at me and be like, you know, on the Ormusun, are you understanding? And I was like, yeah, like 50%. Like, I mean, that's but like a I, lot. I, what, mostly what I notice is my brain just tunes out pretty quickly. But I get guess tired. guess what happens to me? You know, my brain like, still tunes out, like very often. In Turkish? No, or, in English. Oh, in of English, course. yeah. Like, so you what? have no idea how often I have that. Like, I just drift apart. Like, I look at the person's face, but I'm just like. The words are coming out. They just don't like. I don't comprehend. You like, need more vitamins. What is uh? What <laughs> I just went to, diagnosing. I just went to drink <laughs> my microphone. By the way, I went like this. Luke, you need you need fewer vitamins. So, so uh, I, by the way, too many vitamins. I'm less. cutting you off. <laughs> yeah. No more what, vitamins. What is the weirdest or hardest English thing? I've heard idioms can be really hard mm. to translate. Oh, well, to translate for that sure. Makes sense. To translate yeah. or just understand. To to get yeah to get to like, get to, when you're. I mean, when you're amongst, like, at, hanging out amongst English speakers. Well, keep, for example, what's the hardest? Like, oh, thing? you mean in English? I know. Obviously, when we drink and we start talking fast, getting loud, it gets harder. But what yeah. language oh. thing is hard? I mean, at this point, usually, like, I like for personally, like, I don't know, like, what anyone's going through, but like, I understand the words themselves. But sometimes, like, when they get together, they really don't mean anything. Mm. But that might be just like you guys have been friends for a while. Because you're just giving each inside. other references, inside yeah. jokes. Yeah, we just I know never know other. what it yeah, is, though. Right. I'm just like, what? It like, could be for a us reference time. or a pop culture reference. You're not sure. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I don't know which one's going on. Show you haven't seen. It, could also be a, yeah, it could also be a decoy Seinfeld reference. So I reference something in Seinfeld that has nothing to do with this, except the word the that was in common. Yeah, me too. And it's yeah. just kind of a funny, like, eh, fuck it. Seinfeld. Like Seinfeld exists. Yeah. And, like, Yaka goes... What? And I'm like, oh, you didn't get that? And she's like, you said something about a big salad? And I'm like, I know the big yeah. salad now. So. <laughs> I know. Do you speak, and I'm teaching you. Okay, yeah. Do you speak anything besides English and Turkish? I used to. Not that to... that's not impressive. That's very impressive. Oh, no, thanks. I only um, speak English. But... I used to speak French. Not like actively speak, no. but I learned. What was easier to learn? Uh, <laughs> French and Turkish have a lot. In I was going to say French was yeah. easier to learn. But then English was, I don't want to say... I think it was easy. English was very mm. easy to learn in a weird way. Like, because obviously I didn't learn it like very seriously from such a young age, but I always had English classes at school. I never once remember I studied for an English class. Because really? I, I just teach learned. English classes in Turkish school? Of course, yeah. I mean, huh. I British went to English. like a. Yeah. Oh. Her brother has a British accent. Oh, yeah, it's it's hilarious. Cute. Wait, he's really? like, it's cute. Did he's you, like, hello. Did you have a British <laughs> accent when you first got here? I, no, I just. Can you do up, a British accent? Ha- ha- I don't think so. Try it. Okay. Like, no. That was terrible. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Wait, that no. was like more no, southern amazing. than it no, was. That was amazing. Can you say, can can you you say you? howdy y'all in a British accent? Yeah. Can, yeah. <laughs> no, you're really confusing <laughs> my brain. I don't That's know too many what's going to come out. Yeah. Do you know y'all? I, I kept no, saying y'all you, before. Yeah, you know it's y'all, like a right? southern thing. You like all? Gollies, you all, yeah. Okay, okay. Of course. Can, can you do a southern accent? I feel like you can. Oh, you could definitely. It's the easiest southern. American accent. Say, I, I, love, I, I, so say I love nothing more than having some howdy, y'all. Pe- uh, uh, pecan <laughs> pie. Wait, wait, say hush puppies. How, I know. Howdy is short for how do you do. Oh, I didn't know that. And it got that. short howdy, 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 howdy. I see, okay. howdy. So after you spend like so, a week wow, in North Carolina... I was kind of imitating a little bit. And same yeah. thing happened after I was in London. So, like, if mm. I am exposed to it for a while, I think I can imitate That's it. That's Luke. That's why we keep on like, okay, say it. Like, I tr- I'll try to imitate Thank you, guys. <laughs> say, say something in Southern. Keep me on uh, track. Uh, yeah. How, how, y- how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Today. Today. 
Yeah, see, it's just that you just draw all the words. That's a little Matthew McConaughey. I'm very. Well, no, let's not go can you say? Can you say you want 17 pies or right? Oh I thought we made an agreement right, to stay away from Matthew yeah. McConaughey. Yeah. Luke's yeah. 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 He's barely holding back. It's <laughs> tense enough. Luke's like, I thought we said no more McConaughey. All right. Um, 17 minutes ago, uh, I made that promise. <laughs> and now here we are. But now 17 minutes have gone by, and you know. I'm seven years wiser. So I, think, I think last no time sense. we did, we, we asked you. I didn't even think about that part. I just thought like I'm saying the word seven, which has a good S ring to it. <laughs> like, shibish. Shibish. Uh, so wait, you are, Luke is susceptible to cultism. To that, but also accents, because you spent a week in Georgia with with uh, Nathan, Nathan yeah. and then you drove up to North Carolina, and you were way more southern than me. I was Wasn't like, I slower? I yeah, was a little you bit were like, slower. And you were hey, like, man, it's good to ah, see y'all. Well, you're like, yeah, good. how y'all doing today? And I'm like, what are you talking? Like, I've been here two years. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> but you're a native English speaker. Now, my question for Yanka, it happens to her. She said, if she, it, around English people, if you were to go live in Eastern Turkey for a week or let's say six months, would you think you pick up their accent? Her or me? Her. Do you think you would pick up like an Eastern Luke would village accent? accent? If you went, were out there for a, an amount of time? Ah, uh, that's a great question again, but I don't think... I have so many good questions. <laughs> yeah. I noticed she hasn't said what that once like... to Luke, but she said it every time to me <laughs> and Johnny. Like, those are like good questions. Johnny like, does I, ask I'm interesting questions. I'm actually yeah. yeah. Like, it really is. I mean it. Um, there are questions that you have to go, huh, give me a second. I don't want to sound yeah. too confident. <laughs> They're prodding. But yeah, I think prodding. at this point, like, my... like. The way I speak is just like so deeply rooted. I don't think mm. it'll change. Right, you're grounded. I, I really, yeah, yeah. It's, it's rooted. But I don't yeah. know why. Like, d- does that happen here? Like, if you move to South and then no, it does. I, I know some people. I think a, if you're we, in certain circles, we have a family happens, member yeah. from New York who mm-hmm. spent like a few years in Australia and then he moved back to New York and even years and years later still had an Australian accent. Yeah, because it's cool. But he moved there when he was like our age. Okay, I'll tell you what so, happened. Well, like Madonna has a British Isn't accent. Is that cultural now. appropriation? I mean, yeah, Madonna lived in England. Well <laughs> no, I checked it out. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> checked it out. Yeah. This used to be a thing. I ran it through the, the, the website, the culturalappropriation.org. Yeah. 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 Appropriation Is what I'm doing org. wrong? Yeah. You know? And yeah. then it's like, blackface, it's like, yeah, it's wrong. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, cool, I won't do that. I needed a website to know that. Good job. Like Justin Trudeau. That, that, uh, anyways. Right. What were you saying, Yonke? Let's not go there. Um, so I was saying, um, in the past, like, if Turkish anyways. people would, like, when Turkish people would, like, move here, supposedly, I, I think it can happen. Like, I don't know. It, I think it's possible. But um, they would, like, forget how to, like, pronounce things in Turkish. And that mm. always looks so pretentious to me. Like, I didn't believe but in the past, obviously, you weren't giving phone calls or anything. But you and Emre do something similar. What do you mean? You say English words in the middle of speaking Turkish mm. when you're like, oh, well, this is clearly easier in English. And you oh. say... Well, we do, but do that's that not Japanese what I'm talking too. about. People would come back to Turkey and they would pretend like, well, oh, snuggie, like, I don't know how to right. say Kleenex this like Kleenex. in Turkish. It doesn't like, translate. Weird oh, Turkish they were accent. being fake about yes, it. Yes, they would pick up a weird Turkish accent, like with an American accent. And it looks so pretentious, and some people still do that, and I think it's a total Do you mean they bullshit. were trying to signal Wait, that so they traveled there, abroad? Yeah, that's there, something, so but I don't know a, if it was a natural thing. They were treating it like it's is natural. Is there an but... Americanized Turkish accent you've ran into in America? Oh, of course. Tur- like, they speak Turkish, but in an Americanized way? Oh, 100%. Because, like, if... Interesting. Pe- yeah, there are a lot of people that are born here, mm-hmm. and were yeah. raised here, and their parents try to teach them Turkish, but obviously their Turkish is, like, with an American accent. And but it it's sounds Turkish. Like... It's not like Spanglish. Oh no, it's like perfect Turkish, but it, there's an accent. Yeah. But it cool. just sounds so pretentious. <laughs> no, there's a few YouTube like, channels that I yeah. followed, like because their Turkish really is cool. in such a way that I can actually understand it because they're not native speakers. They don't speak with like as much like nuance or whatever. They're not like spinning like complicated sentences. They're just like yeah. speaking in like basic like. Also, they would literally pronounce Turkish words with, like, an American, like, instead of saying geldim, which means, like, I just came, like, geldim, like, something like that, which is, oh like, my God, no, it so means I just, I just, it just yeah. came, like, I just arrived. I just arrived, yes, let's Not clarify like, uh, that. my orgasm just happened. <laughs> my, 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 my cum just that came. That was a bad example. To my me, cum, yeah. cum half like, <laughs> sponged. Yeah, yeah, they have one word for that in <laughs> Turkish. <laughs> yeah, how the hell does Shakespeare translate into Turkish? So that must be a scene. I have seen Turkish Power Rangers, and that translates well. Turkish Power Rangers? Does it? What do you mean? There's a whole bunch of Turkish knockoffs of different TV shows. Have you not seen these? Oh, Teletubbies, yeah. And no, like, wait. No, that's Turkish Tubbies. Those are all the original shows with 
voiceover on them. Like they're okay. not the knockoff. You're saying they make a different version of Power Rangers? There is a yeah. Are you serious? Th- there's like no knockoff rules there. There's no uh, co- they, or they used to have different copyright rules in the '80s, so certain shows got ripped off. Well, I used to but watch just, American had, Power Rangers. That's just people I remember. The colored suits well, they had their own like Incredible that. Hulk shows and stuff. It, it's pretty yeah, amazing whatever. stuff. I'll, I'll send it to you. Huh, okay, interesting. But What's it must have been really just small. And we'll weird. link it. We'll link it in the Maybe. episode. What's your favorite Turkish curse word? Ooh, oh. or, cur- or curse phrase like if there's you know here it's like eh, favorite yeah yourself. favorite and most offensive I want to know both. oh yeah. okay favorite um, is I'll stick it in your vagina like that's the translation oh you're like, like hey buddy I'll stick it in your vagina koyim. I'm so sorry what whoever's listening and understanding amana koyim amana koyim yes okay like I'll stick it in your yeah but I just like gave the not the literal way of like you don't speak wait like sophisticated when you're swearing, so Sit, I forget if it was this. You phrase. sir are a fine potty mouth. <laughs> yeah, like, we were walking. Uh, we were walking through the town we live in, and there's a Turkish barber shop in the town. Okay. And uh, we were walking past the other day. The door was open, and as we were walking past, they're yelling at each other, saying like, "I'll shove it in your mother's pussy." Like if nice. he doesn't show up by one thirty, like fuck that, you know. Like it was something. Like <laughs> and that. I was like hearing that. I'm like, and, like look, I walk hope. Past you don't say a t- word in Turkish right and, now. And like, they meanwhile, my ear's not quite sharp enough to pick up on, like, walking past, like, hearing yeah. something level. And I was about to just be like, like, hello, like, greetings, like, merhabalar. That's not the time. That if it was like, an English conversation, you wouldn't say, hey, my name's Luke. Well, it'd be like someone's like, you know what? You know, fuck you, you motherfucker. Yeah. If, you sh- if he shows up late, that's it. Like, you're like, hi, I see hey, you. Yeah. And then you're like, hello. Like, Somebody take this man home. <laughs> hello. Exactly. He's clearly lost. That was hilarious. Luckily, I didn't say anything because so I was like, they seem angry at each so other. That's that, that's your first move, instinct Luke, yeah. was the yeah. correct one. Yeah. So that's your favorite. What's the worst thing you can say? What's the most offensive? Like in America, oh. it's probably cunt, right? The worst yeah. thing you can that's call a curse word that you only bring out. For the worst the dire, thing you can call it's a hard the most C. dire of situations. It's never not a hard C. You're never like, ah. There's no soft way to use cunt. that C. Like, yeah. If you call someone a fuck, like a stranger, that's mean. But if you call somebody like a stranger a cunt, yeah. that's hard. It's, it's very aggressive. It's but we so have like very, yeah. very creative ones. Like you combine multiple one of them like into one sentence and then like create a whole new like, like, like Example, please. Kind of, ha, like it's, okay, let me think. If you're uh, how, about, how about this? Turkish if you parents, say, if your kids are listening, please. If you were to say, oh, choose me. Consider your life choices. So we don't offend anybody. You're going to say something horrible about me, Johnny, okay? So something about me being, like, terrible and gross and okay. add a third thing, right? Is that what you're saying? You can add stuff to it? Yeah, I would say that. Like, Ooh, you can like combine, like, with so, like, something yeah, else. So I'll like, shove it up your that. Mm-hmm. With something or your, is that your make it worse? Honestly, if I or Google it right now, I can find very your creative tazing. ones. But like, mine, mine you're, is not you're, that. You're like, a good person. You don't I, think, I think like that. I think so. But like, for instance, like there's a <laughs> like really us, nice yeah. one. I don't think it's as harsh sounding. But you would call someone a waste of sperm. I think that's, that's a really a good, good one. one. That's a good it's one. not as and offensive. Sperm gets sounding. wasted so often. Right. If you're a waste of sperm, you're really a piece of shit. <laughs> exactly. You know? I, I really like that one. That's a good one. It doesn't sound as yeah. harsh, but but that's one of my favorites. And um, how does that one go in Turkish? I've never heard that one. I, can I you don't translate wanna... an American? <laughs> so I want to see if you can translate an American okay. turn of phrase insult into say Turkish slow. for me. Wait, 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 again? What? Like if you say it in Turkish, I'll like. Say it in my version of how my mind translates Turkish into English. Okay, now I need to what? hear your explanation because I didn't <laughs> I don't understand a word <laughs> of what he yeah. said. So. Maybe I'm, I'm confused. I I'm have... on my like seventh beer. Okay, so <laughs> hold, hold on then. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. <laughs> I tried to drink my microphone not ten minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. So maybe just sip on that. Let me ask Bianca a few questions. All right. <laughs> Just give that a nibble. Yeah. Someone pour some beer on the mic screen so he has something to nibble. Okay, guys? Um, uh, oh, shit, what was I saying? <laughs> you almost had me oh, there. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, so yeah. I have I have a, a insult, like, you know, an American insult okay. that I want you to translate. And I like it because it's not a direct insult. It's specific meaning. It's what you tell somebody to tell somebody. So it's a secondhand insult. Okay. You know, it's not what I would say directly to someone. It's like you're telling me a story uh-huh. where somebody did something mean to you or bad or mm-hmm. wrong, and I tell you to tell them this. And the phrase is to tell that uh, when you, like, you tell me how your landlord screwed you over, and I go, I ah, tell him to go shit in his hat. 
Okay. And that's like a thing. Uh, 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 it was a common tell thing. Tell him to the, go. In like, my family. Is, not that I'm going to tell, like, I'll yell at Luke in an argument tell him oh, to. Oh, okay, I get I'll it. I'll tell yeah. him to tell someone else to go I shit. I tell them to go fuck You tell him to go shit like, in common enemy. enemy. Okay. Yeah, it's a kind of a weird thing. It's that's a, true, it's like yeah. A mystery. But could you translate that? Can I translate it? Into Turkish. To oh, tell, say, tell someone like, to go. Tell him to go shit in his hat. You can say, like... How, how would I say that? Go shit in... His head, like that. That's the sentence. Tell them to go shit. Well, I want to. Like, yeah, I'm just, telling you to tell that guy to go shit. Yeah. In his head. So okay, I'm telling um, you to tell Luke to go like, shit in his hat. Want me to give my um, like broken Turkish version? Okay, of it? Sure, go ahead. It would be like, ona, onun shapka sinakaka yap. You shop at the at the kaka. He shop at nakaka. Yep. I don't shop at nakaka. Okay, malasın anlat. Well, not bad. I would say like onlara deki. Tell them literally onlara deki. Yeah, like naturally. You know what is this mark? I, I feel like, like I'm really the picking rest up on is this. Onlara deki. Um, Just say it fast. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Come on, onlara deki. Get the couple of nuts That's sıksınlar. how you tell someone to go shit in their hat. Okay. Oh, shop color nasıtsınlar. I said like go shit on their heads, but like no, in their hat. Like in take their, their hat. hat off and go shit. Okay, shop color nasıtsınlar. Yeah. Like, like he looks such an idiot. I think you should tell him to take his hat off and go shit in it. Okay. Say it now. One, two, three, go. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it really is a beautiful language. I'm so even it's, saying something yeah. terrible like I'm that. So, it, ha- it has a beautiful <laughs> flow to it. It has a flow. Yeah. yeah, if you told that to me, I'd say, oh, thank you. It sounds lovely. Thank you. I'm a really fast speaker also. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Like, I don't, like it, Is instantly. that because you're like a city girl? Ah, You're from that fast no, I Turkish don't life? think so. I, I mean, <laughs> fast pace. I think I sk- speak English fast, like compared to a non-native speaker as well. I think just, just like it works. Is it because of New York? I'm very smart. Did we ruin you? No, no, seriously, no I, I think it I is intelligence, it's honestly. Just maybe oh, that's good. Not intelligence. Nice like, one, Luke. Good points. Just, uh, maybe I don't yeah, know. Well, good. no. If I work up enough points now, <laughs> then it'll make up for later. Yeah, no. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Idea, good yeah. job. I'm sure I'll fuck something up. <laughs> you have already, so yeah, you're balanced. Yeah, before. you're close. Am to I even. talking? <laughs> you're, 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 hopefully, you come away from the table. No, take another micro. Micro. It's a micro. Enjoy it. Have you guys seen the ice cream, like the Turkish ice cream vendors? Oh, Turkish yeah. the, I, they're amazing with those crazy long tiny spoons. Oh, yeah. Is your ice cream different that they're able to do that with it? I, I would Is say it so. Yeah, creamier or heavier. There's like an ice cream, um, very famous in like a certain type of region, like a, a city. I don't know, like what's super significant about it, but that's like very famous. That's mm. that ice cream, like Marash. That's the city. Marash. Marash. Yeah, that's like a, a, the name of a city. And then the ice cream is from there. And all of those like tricks and stuff you make with that ice cream, I think it's mm. just very dense and sticky. Yeah. I, it's super sticky, that's I for sure. Yeah. Like, Otherwise, they couldn't pull those tricks off. Yeah. I love when they keep pissing a kid off. Oh, oh, the kid doesn't so, get it and just doesn't like that what, everyone's laughing. It doesn't was like it a t- that t- t- it. Was best. it? I forget it. Is it? The, the one we watched today, the kid... Joe, if I send you a link, where would it play from the computer? Like, where should I send That's it? That's not happening at this point. Yeah, send it. Send it to the podcast. Send it send to no, no. That it needs Fun to play on, on your computer. <laughs> oh my god! Like, share, and imbibe. <laughs> if I send it to like a Facebook message, send it to my Hotmail, to Facebook, or my Gmail, or whatever. I don't work here. Why are you asking me work questions? <laughs> I have six fucking jobs. Um, because no, like. No, what? Anyways. This is my job now too. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll link a few videos of these like um, Turkish people. Like, there, there are these ice cream vendors that oh, I like. Got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get flagged again. What are you doing? Put no, that was the disco very, Star the Wars. Least, Joe, put John Dinker. I love how she uses the <laughs> trumpet as a. We're watching Miss Piggy play Star Wars. Miss Piggy, I love how you named her Miss Piggy. Oh. What is it? What is the title of this video, Joe? <laughs> so it's a video of like a Miss America like contestant who played Star Wars in the wrong key. She's literally playing in the wrong key. And she's, she's acting out the scene like using the trumpet as Showing if it's industry. it's it's a, a taser or whatever. Star <laughs> Wars guns are called. Oh god. 
That can go really wrong. Who's the most popular American celebrity in Turkey? I know it looks like I'm obsessed. Ha. Now Joe's just playing Ford Good commercials question. over the podcast. Well, probably like. <laughs> yeah, what are we doing at this point? Yeah. Did you just click the first link for Turkish music. I think Donald no, Trump is traditional. Oh, okay. Interesting. Do you know this instrument, by the way? Is it a Turkish flute? It really is. Like it's called Ney. Yeah, and nay and it's so hard to play this like a Why? lot of people can well i don't know like about those the complications but like i know it's like it's, such a unique a talent to be able to play this i guess it's beautiful mm -hmm. love it enjoy it why can't you just enjoy the music listen to the birds <laughs> <laughs> it's just loud it's hard to hear yaka i don't hear her talk about <laughs> this flute okay so ce celebrity it looks like he plays well, it there's not like one yet. person i guess <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna stop it. Can you play that flute? I feel like the bird oh, is laughing. No, <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. He's I thought I saw somebody put the effects on the soundboard on. You know. Don't. Um, <laughs> no, but this flute makes me think deeply about Turkey. Uh, <laughs> All Thanksgiving. Right. I'm cutting him off. <laughs> yeah, right. Just Thanks. Goodbye. Thanks, Thanks for joining Thanks. us, Luke. Have a good night. Uh, how much longer do we? <laughs> I think that's it. I know we're good I on time. It. What time is it? Um, I mean, like, we, we, we're at an hour of, oh, okay. of Turkey podcast. Let me see if I missed anything. Turkey. I have missed one thing. How do you... Um, Yanka, will you please tell everyone else, what is the word for wrist Shut in up. Turkish? Say it. It doesn't... Okay. Just say it. Bilek. Bilek. B-I-L-E-K. Bilek is the word for wrist. Where are you going Bilek. with this, buddy? In Turkish. Tell everybody what is the word for foot. Ayak. Ayak is the word for foot. A-Y-A-K. Ayak. Tell everybody what is the word for ankle. Ayak bilei, which is not weird, I think. It means wrist yeah, of the foot. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not that weird. It makes so reason. much sense, yet it's hilarious because yeah. I have to memorize it. When I talk about my ankle in Turkish, I think... I think to myself, foot wrist. The, foot uh, wrist. No, no, it's even worse. I think the of my foot wrist hurts or something like well, that. Well, I think in French, hurts it, does the of my yeah, foot yeah, wrist. Yeah. In, yeah. in French, aren't your, toes, aren't your toes just your foot fingers? Isn't that the same That's thing? what they call yeah. them, too. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not only weird. in English that figured yeah. out let's call them something different. They're Cold different toes. enough. I can't, fucking, I can't eat soup with my toes. Why is he screaming? So let's call him something different. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying. Uh, what do you... Maybe maybe off. turn it off a squidge. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. We just gotta... Um, I think we're done. Anybody think, have any other turkey questions? Uh, we got we covered Taze's. I think I asked this last time. But how do you say turkey in turkey again? Turkey. 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 So apparently Turkish people... So Americans think Turkey is coming from Turkey, but we think Turkey is coming from India. And I think Indians think Turkey is coming from Peru. So all of these countries yeah. are calling these countries Do you guys Turkey. know about the chain Let's of turkeys? Do so you guys call India Turkey? Hindustan, yeah. Turkey. Hindustan means Turkey land? Yes. Are you serious? That's I'm what serious. It means in yes, India. Wait, I can't That's believe. amazing. Yeah, Johnny, okay. seriously. Yeah. India, in <laughs> Turkish, is called Turkey Land. That's amazing. Yeah. And Turkey in India is... I just said all of these. I know, but I'm saying it again because I, I think we missed it. No, we all got it. What the fuck? I was hearing... Anyways. Is this what music videos are like in Turkey? It's pretty hot. It's wild. I don't know what, what this There's is. There's a lot of neon and people dancing. It's Turkish pop music 2015. HD. HD. Okay. Like sharing. There's a lot of sweaty yeah. young people. I mean, honestly, I haven't... That's every music video. Yeah, so they're I've doing been living right? here for like do you, you don't listen to Turkish pop music? I never because it's like just not Oh, it's as bad as American pop music? I would say so. I mean yeah. again I don't want to offend out. anyone's tastes, but oh, like mostly them. I would say like ninety eight percent of it is garbage, so Oh okay. Maybe two percent of it is nice. I think yeah. it's like most things most consistent. places. Yeah, yeah I, I guess so. garbage. But like sense. for instance, eighties, nineties music, it's so beautiful. Like I think there are like lots of good pop music in the eighties. These young kids nowadays. Yeah, I mean, so I think if only they knew what it was like to be a Taze. Exactly. Is that what they sound like? Do Taze? Not smoke? really. No, they're, they're not like a. Do they smoke? 
Not necessarily. Baseball, Puka, you mean? I don't think so. No. Tazes? No, I mean, Puka is not a huge thing. No, they don't. I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. They might, like, I mean, a lot of people smoke in Turkey. That's You didn't tell us your favorite Turkish food. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you've been Oh, my God. So we should care about whose favorite. That's true. Okay. Turkish food there is. So my t- favorite Turkish food is home-cooked meals that you can't really get in a restaurant Which here. meal, though? Which is, yeah, Which what's meal? the combo? Because it, it maybe okay, should I be in a restaurant. Okay, I think my favorite... I mean, you can get it, like, I think canned here, but obviously that doesn't nearly taste as good as, like, the real one. You, like, stuff these grape leaves with, like, meat mm. and, like, rice, and then you mm. kind of, like, roll them very, very thinly, like a you cigarette You guys are really thing. good at using grape leaves. Yeah, huh. they're yeah. awesome. That's my favorite food. Like, you can make this with, like... Just olive oil, just very light, without like with very little, like without any meat actually in it. Or you can make it with mm. meat and then just like cook it. Let's in, like, do the with meat version. And it's just. So Am good. I at a restaurant yeah. ordering right now? I'm confused. <laughs> no, it sounds great. So I want to uh, order it with meat. And so, do you cook it? Do you fry it? Do you bake it? In the oh oven? no, we just like you grill it. No, it's in like a pan and uh, sorry, a pot, and then like you put some water into it. Like you kind of boil you them. You boil it yeah. in the grape leaf. You boil this ricey, meaty bit. Exactly inside of that the grape leaf. Great. It's called sarma. Sarma. Yeah, it's like stuffed grape leaves. Sarma. So you good. Just, I think that's you just my favorite. Eat it, you just Sounds eat Irish. it like straight Sarma. in the grape leaf, or you open it. Or you mix no, it you up just or? like eat the whole thing because it's very tender when it's cooked mm. that long. It's just eat like one at a time, like French fries, or just like a stalk of them. <laughs> just one at a time, you just I guess. Grab a handful, like a sparrow. How do I do uh, it like no. an American? Yeah, more faster. Yeah, yeah no, not faster. more. That's amazing. How do I get cheese more in my mouth faster? Can we melt cheese on it? No, that uh, wouldn't taste it good. Won't work. That won't work here then. Okay, great. We can't Living sell it to your, Americans. Like, one, yeah, right. I know. I know. Sorry. Keep having your not. Every time we troubles. go on a walk and we're like, "Hey, we should open like a cool Turkish restaurant." Blah blah blah. blah. We're like, "Nah, that wouldn't work. People suck." Also, <laughs> yeah. you're not qualified to run a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to oh, sell hush puppies. Uh, let me tell you the kind of ideas I get on walks. Please Most don't. of them end with like, oh, "I didn't even do my laundry this week. <laughs> Why do I think I could?" Do possibly anything. do anything more complicated than what, what I'm yeah, already what I, doing. What if I started a drone network <laughs> of exchanging yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, fresh if? produce within an intermediate area around if, urban Johnny? areas? I could probably get that up and running in 18 months. And it's like, wait, yeah. <laughs> That's such a lunch. Kramer thought. Yeah. And it's like, it turns out you'll get distracted by like not having milk for your cereal and then meet a milk guy and then get involved in like a milk business for like three weeks. And then like, that's a Kramer subplot, you know? Oh, I got a milk guy. Yeah, you know, and you're like, "What do you mean?" It's like, "Well, I worked with him for three weeks." Like, blah 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 blah. Is Star Wars big in Turkey? Oh yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. for sure. What's like the biggest thing like that there? Um, like so, Germany famously is obsessed with David Hasselhoff for some reason. Oh, okay. It's an I mean, I think that amount. guy's last name sounds like German origin. Yeah, so but he was on Baywatch a... in the eighties. Oh, some, I see. Like, okay. Oh people were obsessed with again. like all I know is like obviously not in my generation but in the right. past yeah. like right now who, who people are, are obsessed with American shows but like my mom's time Marco. I think they were obsessed with Dallas the show Dallas yeah they were just Whoa. obsessed I, need answers. Yeah, I don't Dallas. know what's happening there honestly <laughs> yeah luckily I cut he's off the audio feed from okay. whatever Joe's playing on YouTube but he's, he's sexy dancing at the fish market yeah <laughs> Well, he's got like 8 million views. He would definitely flag our video. This, this guy is like a is compilation, I'm assuming. So He looks so fun and playful. Yeah. You guys don't hear anything, right? Oh, he no. raps at us. Never mind. Oh, he's going to buy this girl something. Yeah. We're watching a music he video. Meets a girl, he meets listening. a girl looking at crosses <laughs> in, in the market. Now. Who's the oh, dude? also, I'll Who's tell you one more. We, yeah, look at that guy. That's so funny. What's that type of head thing called? Uh... Well, the guy is not Turkish, so I have no idea. Like, oh. Clearly not Turkish. So this isn't Turkish. <laughs> I think he looks like, yeah. Right, like, so we don't yeah. wear things like that. Men absolutely like? don't. That's just a racist thing I did. <laughs> no, it's okay. Or is, is it a racist it's thing what she did? This is how you find out. Did. Assuming that questions. that guy is not Turkish. Yeah. I think we're all racist. Exactly. Can we just all agree that we're racist? Yeah, why not? Yeah, because, like, no, you guys are <laughs> way more racist than I am. <laughs> Fair enough. Is that even in Turkey? This video? I don't know. I don't oh, you're just playing a random video? <laughs> I don't looks know. Like this is really on. detracting. We should just end the episode instead of watching YouTube. <laughs> watching a music while we record. A maybe Turkish vi- music on video mute. in silence. While we, while we try to do a podcast. We should probably <laughs> All right, well, thank up. you for joining us on our episode about uh, McTurkles. How, how do you say and, uh, like, share, and vibe? Or, su- su- or subscribe. Like, share, and whatever in Turkish. Okay, lütfen beğenin, paylaşın ve abone olun. Oh, we're going to clip that.
What, wait, uh, what did you do say? Do your words have more letters than American words? I n- never really counted. I'm just trying to think. She's like, <laughs> she's like nobody. Every well, word I have a real reason for asking that. Like, is Turkish Twitter different? Because it's 240 in every language. Oh no, right? it's like Twitter. Uh, I think I is see. limited to the same like. But is that fair? Count. Do you guys have the same oh, kind of? Can you get the same? Amount I think that out? you can't get but the same amount of data. Out I, was wor- I think like this. Like, this is a question that should concern Germans, like because their words are very long. Oh, uh, it's like, not a Turkish I, problem. Your words are really so. long too, though. Racist That's misassumption true, number but like two. not as but the, much. Johnny, the point is, it doesn't matter how long the words are. If your words are short, the only downside is that you have you use up a character with a space, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So if your words are longer, you can get more information with less spaces. <laughs> so that means you get more information <laughs> per two hundred forty characters. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, it does. So, like, in Turkish, you can say that I will be able to go in one word without spaces. You found that means you used up less space 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 of oh, no. zero information, you. you know? It's more in code. Yeah, okay. All right, so that's it. Can we right. this, this uh, play okay. us out? No, we no. can't. Oh, I have a classic, uh, yeah. tu- have a classic so, Turkish uh, He's just going to click the next out. random one. Give me approval, because you don't even know what button to hit to make Yeah, I do. Watch. Oh, God. I'm gonna start hitting buttons. Oh, I know, don't cute. don't start hitting buttons because. What are they doing? Do they get used to the new house? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, <gasps> it's adorable. Okay, thanks for <laughs> listening, everyone. Hey, Tommy, you want to sign us off? Oh wait, that's like our superstar guy. Uh, he looks like your Elvis. Say, like, he yeah, he he's, he's, he's the he's huge. He's still right, is I'll huge. Teach, no, gonna... let's have Elvis. Tarkin, Tarkin, yeah. Oh, that guy was so cool. Cool. Have Just Elvis dial Elvis it up, Elvis up a tiny bit. You don't have to go Just full blast. Oh my god! Also, this is like a super famous song from '90s. It's Turkish Elvis. Oh, this is like a nice like way to finish the whole thing. I think. Well, thank you, folks, for listening to our old Turkish all night. No, really, so, thank you for joining us. Uh, we hope that if you're planning a trip to Istanbul one day soon, that you use right. us as a guide. Oh yeah, uh, we've given you all the top places to visit. Don't get in the Turkish Uber, whatever you do, because they don't exist anymore. Yeah. Exactly, especially don't because all the other <laughs> take a cab. <laughs> no, don't take a cab either. Take a cab. Yeah, I don't recommend. Take that. the public <laughs> transport. Take a cab. Be ready to fight. Yeah. Take a cab and realize that um, it won't work out. And uh, we hope we hope we've provided you with the proper um, guide to being a tourist in Istanbul. We've talked we about all the categories sure. of food. We didn't do any. Of we that. talked about all the top places to go and see. And now you probably understand <laughs> Turkish culture. And Joe, anything else to add? Make sure you try the McTurkle. Great oh, sandwich. you gotta try the McTurkle. Fantastic. Yeah, I don't sandwich. think it is this anymore, but. Just Johnny, like Uber. anything else to add? It's gone as well. Yeah, take an Uber and get a mixed circle. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just great culture. Great culture. <laughs> great, great. Tommy, thank, thank you for coming. Trumpism. Thank you for coming, Yanka, and wonder- loving all my wonderful, great questions. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, uh, it was wonderful to have you. Uh, I feel like without your insights, this would not have worked. So, um, terrific. God bless. Keep up your work. Uh, you know, um, and. Uh, you should have asked that question 20 minutes ago. <laughs> no one can answer that it's now. It's like I'm done. It's too late. <laughs> and... All right. Thanks, everyone, for listening to the Funk Tank podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to help us out, please consider leaving a rating or a review wherever you listen to podcasts and uh, share it with people you think might like it. And if you really want to support us, you can go over to patreon.com slash Thunk Tank Podcast. We have links to this in in the episode description and other places. And for as little as $1 an episode, you can help us keep the lights on. And you also get access to a very special Drunk Tank uh, feed of episodes. So every few episodes, we'll have a few more beers and record an extra 20 to 30 minutes of extra thunky, silly uh, whateverness. So... There's a separate RSS link you can get from there, and if you put that into a podcast player, you'll get your own separate feed of only the drunk tanks. I think we have about six or seven of them out already, and more to come. Thanks for listening, and stay funky.